Hello everyone, it's Lisa Tilson here again with you today. It's the 14th of the month and that means only one thing. It is release day over at Picket Fence Studios and I'm going to walk you through all the new products for this month's release. So here's a little snapshot of everything that I've got to share with you. If you're a floral lover, this is a great release for you. If you love coffee, plenty in there for you too. We've got some great new additions to the slimline die cutting system and we've also got some more Christmas items for you. So as I normally do, I'm going to take you through each of the items and show you the cards that I've made and I will also intersperse those with some of the cards from the team. So I'm going to start off sharing the floral items with you now. This beautiful set here is called Watercolour Roses. I knew immediately that I saw this, that I was going to colour this up. You've got the floral image here and of course you've got a lot of different sentiments that you can combine it with. It's good for birthdays, it's also good for other occasions. You've got Forever and Always on this glorious day. We have come to celebrate you so that would be great for a birthday. It's a good day to be happy, also good for a birthday. So lots of different occasions you can use this for and it does come with a coordinating die as well. So this is the card that I made with that set. I have done some Copic colouring and I've cut it out with the coordinating die and it has been mounted onto a mini slim line stitched and scalloped rectangle panel and I'm going to show you that new die cutting system in a moment but I did a little bit of stenciling behind it's difficult to see here but I've used the slim line uh, broken fence stencil behind there. I really love the size of the mini slim line and um, I think it worked perfectly with this size of image. Of course you could orientate it in a different way. It would still work well with this image. So that is my first card to share with you. So this is the first of two new die cutting systems that I've got to share with you today. This one is called the Mini Slimline Stitched and Scalloped Rectangles Die Cutting System. So you can see here you've got two different size scalloped and stitched rectangles and you've got four, four word dies. That one says love ya and that says thank you. You can also do love you so you can change those up as they're separated out the sentiments. Some of these items will, will also work really well on your normal slimline cards as well. So this is how it looks on the back of the packet. This isn't to scale of course. Um, you've got the two different rectangles there, it shows you how they mat onto each other and of course that shows you the font of the word dies that you're going to get if you purchase this new system. So that's a brief look at that. Here's a look at some of the cards now from the team. These first two are from Erica. Erica has used the mini slimline rectangle panels. She's used the thank you word die. You can see how that size translates onto that panel. She used some paper glaze, cut out the sentiment and then used that sentiment on another card with a different background. This next card is from Larissa. She's used the mini slimline format for a Christmas card. The gingerbread man is called Bob. He's going to be coming up a little later on along with that holiday background which I'll also be showing you shortly. I absolutely love his little red polka dot bow tie. I think that is super fun for a Christmas card. This next card here is from Sandy. Sandy has also used the watercolour roses on her mini slimline card. She has added them to a background created using the new changes stencil which is coming up later on and she also uses the new fancy friendship sentiments for this super gorgeous floral card. Next up is this cover plate die. I absolutely love this die. It is called You Make This World Better. 
and it has this floral frame and then you've got the words in the center the words say you make this world better i created a card with this and this is the card that i made i did some watercoloring i watercolored a panel and then i die cut it out with the die and i stacked up the sentiment in the middle but i think this is such a pretty die i i can't wait to use this again to be honest it's really really lovely i stacked mine up with extra layers just to make it more sturdy i am going to have details of all my cards over on my blog in the coming days so you can always check out the details over there and there's plenty more inspiration with all of these sets over on the picket fence website so don't forget to check that out as well. But that is the card that I created with this gorgeous cover plate die. And I should also mention I did embellish this card with <laughs> a lot of sequins. I normally only do three or five on a card, but I thought they would look really pretty around the frame. And I'm just going to hold it up there. It's quite grey and dark here today, so you may not be able to see all the sparkle from the sequins, but they're the iridescent moonshine sequins that came out last month, I think, or possibly even the month before. But aren't they just gorgeous? And of course they will go with any project. So I absolutely love them. They're gonna be a firm favorite of mine. And I definitely went overboard on the sequins, but sometimes I think you can never have too many. Here are two cards from Erica. Erica has used the same cover plate die, but she has cut hers from white and black cardstock. And I just love how she has added all that bright color with the rainbow stripes behind. I really think that that makes the die cuts pop. They are so beautiful. Okay, so this is the only six by six stencil in this month's release. This is the Peonist stencil. I think it's absolutely lovely. So of course I did create a card with it. And I went for a shaker card. So I did some simple ink blending through that. And obviously I've created the black frame, popped it up and made it into a shaker. And I have used the iridescent moonshine sequins in my shaker. You can see where this is going. Nicole, if you're watching, I'm probably going to need some more of these soon. But they are absolutely beautiful. I didn't want to put too many in, to be honest, because I didn't want to use all my sequins up. But I love this floral image. Um, it's so pretty. I love stencils anyway. They're so versatile. They're cheap. You can do so much with them. This sentiment here, I owe you big time, is from a previously released set called I'll Always Pick You. But that is the third of my cards to share with you today. So a little shaker using this beautiful stencil. Moving on now to the Christmas items in this release. This gorgeous set here is called For the Holidays. There is some amazing cards from the design team using this set. I haven't got to use it yet, but I am hoping to do so soon. You've got this absolutely beautiful image of a mountain cabin with the trees in the background. And it says, may your holiday be full of love, laughter and cheer. Santa, please stop here. Happy holidays. All roads led home for the holidays. I think that's a lovely sentiment. So check out all the examples over on the website, but really, really beautiful image. And I'm sure that one's gonna be super popular. And whilst I've got this set out, I should just mention that Nicole used this in a live a couple of weeks ago. She used it um, on vellum and it turned out absolutely gorgeous. It's a fantastic live, so make sure you check it out. She shows a, an absolutely brilliant way of creating snow using paper glaze and a cake mold. So make sure you don't miss that. But that is that set and as I say, plenty of examples on the website too. But I wanted to share some examples here from the team. This first one here is from Sarah. 
that sky, the purple, the pink, the glow. I don't know if that's the sun or a moon, but either way, I think it just looks absolutely beautiful coming up behind the cabin. And Sarah has also used a sentiment from the set to complete this beautiful Christmas card. This lovely card here is from Sandy. Sandy has taken the mountain cabin image, but she has used it on a mini slimline card. And I think you can see how well it works on both A2 and the mini slimline format. And Sandy has added a gorgeous pop of gold using the Dear Family dies from last month. This third example here is from Amanda and Amanda has also used this stamp on a mini slimline card but she has made a vertical scene on her card and I think this shows how well this absolutely gorgeous stamp set looks on different sizes of cards in different orientations. It's absolutely beautiful with all that lovely blue around the outside. This next set here is called Happy Holidays Menagerie. It is one of the seamless stamps, so it, you can build a background with it, you can build a panel of any size. If you have watched any of my videos before, you know I talk about how clever these are. They match up at the edges, so you can just keep stamping, moving the stamp or your card and re-stamping again. So you really can create anything of any size with that. This has got some trees, uh, stockings, a bell, some holly, Santa and the reindeer, little shooting star there. It's a lovely set. Oh, and candy cane as well. So you can certainly go to town creating some Christmas wrapping paper with that. Really pretty. I hope to be able to use that one soon too. For this card example here, Amanda has taken that seamless stamp and she has actually used it as her sky on this gorgeous Christmas card. I love how she has paired it with the Santa Snowy Hills from a few months ago and how she has brought the whole card together with the Santa Please Stop Here sentiment. I think it's super cute and a really festive card. So continuing on with the Christmas theme, we've got these two dies as well as part of this month's release. This here on the left is Gingerbread Betty and this one on the right is Gingerbread Bob. So you've got the main kind of cut outline die in each of them that will cut your uh, basic shape for the gingerbread people. And you've got these two plates here, so they will cut out your icing details. So of course you can run them through in white or any other coloured cardstock that you like but they're super easy to put together and they do of course match brilliantly with this new sentiment set which is called gingerbread people you've got four different sentiments here and you've got some accompanying images in this set Christmas calories don't count. Warning, these are not gluten free. That's a couple of them. You've got the little cookies there. You've got the tree. Um, so like a gingerbread tree and a gingerbread man there. So you can use those to accentuate um, the cards that you make with the dies, of course. So that is the sentiment set. And I did create a card using these. So here is the card that I made with Bob and Betty and I've used a slimline format for my card so that I could get both of them on in a vertical uh, position. So I've got Bob at the top, Betty at the bottom. The sentiment is from the Gingerbread People set and I've popped them onto some action wobbles as well. I thought that would add a little bit more fun to this Christmas card. And my background there, I have used the paper glaze ombre set called sky blues and it is pot a and i've used the slimline hand cut snowflake stencil it's so pretty that paper glaze i absolutely love that particularly i love pot a i just love the color of it and i thought it would be um, a great backdrop for the gingerbread men it wouldn't kind of take over from them it was subtle enough to be seen but not to be too overpowering. So that is the card that I made. I did put lots of sequins on this as well. 
Uh, these are from the Winter Lady, I think, sequin mix. So that is my card created with Bob and Betty. So that leads me on nicely to the second of the die cutting systems that I wanted to share with you today. This is actually for slimline cards and it is called the Slimline Stitch and Scallop Rectangles and Alpha Die Cutting System. So this is how it looks. I, I will scroll out a little bit here, wrong way. So that's how it looks. You've got the two uh, different size scallop frames there. You've got all the alpha letters. You've got numbers as well, which continue down here, plus a few extra uh, characters as well. You've got the frames, which are in heart, circle and square. So you've got so many different options with this set. And of course, it works brilliantly with all of the other elements of the slimline die cutting system and I did use the smaller of the frames on this card here so you can see how pretty that looks the scallops quite small and you get the stitching detail as well so that is the second of the sets and um, I think it's a brilliant addition to what already is in place for slimline cards. This beautiful sympathy card is from Larissa. She has used this same die set. You can see the scallop frame around the edge there. And Larissa has paired it with the watercolour roses, an oversized sympathy die, which is coming up a little bit later on, and also the changes stencil. Going to move on now and show you some of the sequin mixes that are releasing this month. This first one here is the mini people sequin mix. Isn't it just super adorable? You can see the little gingerbread men there. And this is gonna, of course, work brilliantly with those gingerbread dies and the stamp set that I showed you earlier on. This next mix is the Gingerbread House Sequin Mix Plus and you get the little clays as well as sequins in the Sequin Mix Plus compacts. You can see you've got the candy cane there, you've also got some tiny gingerbread houses. This next mix is called Gingerbread People. It is a sequin mix plus compact. So you can see there the little tiny gingerbread people along with the other clays and sequins. And of course you can see uh, more close-ups of these over on the website. And you can see the gingerbread people mix here in this absolutely adorable shaker card from Karen. Karen created this Christmas card using the two new die cutting systems. She's also used gingerbread Betty and she's used the small image stamps from gingerbread people to create her background. The last sequin mix plus for now is this one here and this is called Christmas Twist and it has traditional Christmas colours with the red and the green and it also has those super cute clay pinwheels in it as well. So moving on now to the other items in the release, we've finished with Christmas. This stamp set here is called Iconic Beauty Sara. I don't have a card with this um, to show you. When I first saw this stamp set, I was sort of, I did a little gasp actually. I thought, what an absolutely incredibly beautiful image this is. And it's kind of what I associate with Picket Fence Studios. It's beautiful, it's different, it's uh, slightly quirky. And if I'm honest, when I looked at it, I thought, my, how can I do how can I use this and um, give it the justice I think that it deserves? And I was thinking my no line colouring isn't great. And if you look at the stamp set here, you'll see that it doesn't have a, a kind of solid line as the outline. And I was thinking about no line colouring, thinking um, I don't know that I can do that well enough. But of course you don't have to colour. And there are some examples from the design team that use um, an ink blended background, a beautiful, soft, pretty ink blended background with Sarah on top. 
um, that someone of course has done some no line colouring and a much better job of it than I think I would have done and I've also seen her stamped over a um, a background of coffee images that's one of the stamp sets I'm going to show you in a moment but really really striking with a quite a busy background but she stamped over the top and certain parts of her hair have been highlighted in colour so make sure that you check that out I think this is an amazing stamp really really beautiful and um, I, I really hope that to have that on a card soon and of course, I couldn't let this opportunity go by without showing you a couple of examples from the team. And this one here from Sarah is the one that I was talking about where she has added her color by blending that gorgeous background and just adding um, color, a little bit of color in the hair as well. I just think this is stunning and it shows you how striking that image is. This card here from Sandy uses the stamp in a similar way. She stamped it in black and she has also added pops of colour into the hair and onto the lips. But what Sandy has done on her card is she's used the watercolour roses stamp set to create a beautiful grey subtle background. And I think these products combine so well together. Next up, I've got another word topper die to share with you. There's just the one this month. This is called Coffee is the Answer. So as you know, we've um, Picket Fence Studios has been releasing, gosh, I'm not sure how many of them there are now, perhaps 10 or 12 of these over the past four or five months. This one is coffee related. I'm a tea girl myself. I didn't make anything with this yet this month. And it is... Um, it accompanies this set here this is called down to the last cup so you've got another seamless stamp here one of those that you can um, repeat stamp and of course it matches really well with the word topper die so that is that set there I've got a few examples now from the team. This first one here is from Amanda. It's a mini slimline card and she has used both the stamp and the word topper die for her card. And the word topper die has been cut from paper glitz by the looks of it. And I love how she has added some images from the stamp set to frame that sentiment as well. This one here is from Karen. It's another mini slimline card and Karen has also used both the stamp set and the word topper die on her card. She also included a sentiment from the word topper die subtitle stamp set and those coffee beans there, well I'm going to show you that sequin mix in just a moment. The final sample with the coffee products is this card here from Erica and actually this is the card that I was referring to earlier when I was talking about Iconic Beauty Sara and here Erica has created a whole background panel with the coffee stamp set and she has over stamped Sara on top and just picked out the detail in the hair and the lips with red and I think this is an amazingly creative card, it's so beautiful. Here's a closer look at the Coffee Bean Sequin Mix Plus that I mentioned earlier when showing you Karen's card. Look at those coffee beans, aren't they just so much fun mixed with those gorgeous colours of sequins. Another word dye that's releasing this month is the I Love You Word dye. So that is uh, this one here and it does come with a shadow dye as well. And I have used this on a card and this is the card that I created with it. So I used it with the lavender cover dye that was released months ago now and I simply did an ink blended panel um, as my backdrop. This combination of oxides is one that I saw Christina Werner use so I must give her a shout out for the combination of colours but I love the contrast of the colours with the white and I didn't use the shadow I just took the words from the dye and I um, used them over two lines because that fitted 
my design better but this is how it looks if you have it on a straight line with the shadow I was going to use it that way and then in the end I decided to separate the words out but that just gives you an example of how it looks and um, I shall keep that for another project We've got another new uh, Fancy Sentiments stamp set releasing this month. This is called Fancy Friendship Sentiments. You have got four, five, six, nine different sentiments in this set. It does come with the coordinating dies as well, which gives you so many more options for creating on your cards. But some lovely sentiments um, in this set. Friends are our chosen family. This day is special because of you. I love that. You've got thank you for being my partner in crime. So that's um, another addition to the fancy sentiments range, which I know is very popular. This stunning and vibrant card is from Karen. Karen has used the fancy friendship sentiments on her card. She's also used the coordinating die for that sentiment as well. You are my inspiration. And she has paired it with the two new die cutting systems and also the new slimline changes stencil, which is coming up in a moment. Larissa has also used the You Are My Inspiration sentiment along with its coordinating die. She's added that lovely pop of glitter as well. And of course, she's paired it with Iconic Beauty Sarah. And let's face it, I can't get enough of this stamp. I'm including as many samples as I can. I absolutely adore it. And this is another fantastic example from the team. My final sample for the Fancy Friendship Sentiment set is this card here from Sarah. She has used the Friends Are Our Chosen Family sentiment along with its coordinating die and she has paired it with the Watercolour Roses stamp set from earlier and don't they just look so gorgeous in purple. And last but not least, the final two items to share with you this month. This is the Slimline Oversized with Sympathy Word die. So you can see there it is a large die. Of course, it's perfect for the Slimline cards. I've used it on an A2 card as well. So it is possible to use it on that. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. So it does have the shadow as well. And I paired it with the Slimline Changes stencil. So this is the only Slimline stencil this month. Really pretty stencil. And I went ahead and I made a With Sympathy card. So this is the card that I created with that word die. You can see that it does fit on. I've used it horizontally across an A2 card. And I have just chopped off the two edges at the side. But I think it still works really well um, on, on an A2 as well as a slimline. So I did some sim simple ink blending through the slimline changes stencil. And I've added some leaves as well. This is the um, Leaves for Flowers stamp set and coordinating dies that came out ages ago. And I just stamped them onto vellum and die cut them out and added them around the sentiment. So that is how that card came together. I'm going to show you the rest of the sequin mixes now. This is the Birthday Candle Sequin Mix Plus. Super fun. Look at all those beautiful coloured candles and those stunning clear sequins. I love this mix. And this next one here is the rainbow sequin mix and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a popular mix with all those gorgeous sequins in all the different colours of the rainbow. This last mix here is called Pink Camo, really pretty mix of sequins. It's got some pinks and some gorgeous browns in there. So I think it worked really well with the coffee themed products as well this month. So that is the last mix for today.
But I also wanted to take a minute to show you these new slimline pockets that are coming to the store. I think you can get them in packs of five or ten and they are going to be so useful. I've been looking for storage options for ages for my slimline products. So these will be able to house your slimline stencils and your dies and your stamp sets as well. So do make sure that you check those out. And that brings us to the end of the October 2021 release. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing all the new items. I think that there is something there for everyone. And of course, check out the website for all the inspiration from the team. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of their cards and mine as well. And it gives you some ideas of what you might like to create. So. Thank you for joining me. I will be back next month with, oh my goodness, the November 2021 release. Where has the year gone? I don't know. I'm not ready for Christmas at all, but I'm digressing anyway. I'll see you all again next month and thank you for joining me.